What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do Fixed Friday every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast, and I stream on Twitch as often as I can. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me today. This is episode 32 in our rank-up series where we will be taking my girl Chiquita Grinface all the way from novice to grandmaster. Playing free-for-all, progressive, unfiltered settings for this game. Brazil Advance, we got two good maps of the week. Brazil Advance and Arctic. I'm going to shoot one of each if I can. World Domination on Brazil Advance, auto setup 60 sector, an expert AI, and we don't have, we, and we have one. Uh, we have one player failed to ready up progressive cards. Balance Blitz Dice. In Nothing Fancy, no Fog, no Blizzard, no Alliances. I'm in the fifth position in position one we have general takashima one two five four seven from france eight hours played with three and 26 all right blue okay in position two we have an expert ai in position three we have fiery eldritch 23 from the united states of america 1164 hours played with a thousand wins and almost three thousand losses Lots of hours, not such a great record in position four. We have Sun Oak 30 with a, from an unspecified location, 102 hours played with 45 wins and 239 losses. I'm in the fifth position. This is the rank of the count. Chiquita Grinface flying the rainbow flag of the Seychelles, 14 hours played with 25 wins and six losses. I am going to go for a no continent strat this game. My intuition tells me to let these players fight amongst themselves and just hang out and reap the rewards. So, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to move my four into the middle, and I'm going to move my three out of the corner. We're going to consolidate. We're going to have a middle position. We're going to do a four-position play by the looks of it in the final position. We have Helga playing the flag of Norway. 61 hours played with 19 wins and 110 losses. I'm mostly scared about red because they have a lot of hours. What I'm expecting to see is some bad neighbor stuff. So here's how the bonuses work. On Brazil Advanced, you have Nordest worth 4. It's a 4 for 4. You have Lest worth 3. It's a 4 for 3. You have Sudest worth 3. It's a 3 for 3. And you have Centro worth 4. It's a 4 for 4. Then you have 4 big continents. Uh, Sul is 7, Usta is 3, or uh, Esta is 10, Norta is 9, and Panama is plus 8, if you can hold it. So I don't want to be too far on the right-hand side of the board because I'm going to let my opponents, you can already see, green went bad neighbor to yellow. I'm going to let these guys hit each other, and I'm going to hang on to the bottom, in the middle, and the top, which also equals the right-hand side. You see the, the ceiling, and this one. I actually think if I move up next turn to here... Hanging out on those C lane positions gives you access to a lot more of the board than it appears. I like this map. I think this is a good uh, map for free for all progressive. Uh, I'm happy to play it ranked. Haven't done a lot, but feeling good about this game so far. We see a white bot being aggressive. B E aggressive. So in the middle of the board, white's already in pretty much three positions one, two, and three. Um, I'm curious to see that red isn't taking anything red is doing kind of like a split stack play where they just slowly expand out and don't lose any territory so it actually kind of makes sense for me to hit this three did yellow bot yellow already quit the game yeah so yellow got broken on the first turn and instead of enacting revenge on green they quit like a little baby it's how yellow's a bot there. Maybe it makes sense for me to hook around out here. But then essentially I lose a position. I want to I stay in as many places as I can. What is the game that the red player is doing? So no one's going to contest green. My card is going to be in Uruguay. That's my plan. Okay, this is why. Take the card in Uruguay. So blue's here and here and here. Blue's in three places. I have okay line on blue. Consolidate here. So I'm slightly offset, which makes up for being slightly offset there. 
I'm happy with my positioning. I'm happy with this game. Green gets to hold their bonus uncontested. And now they're going to take a second one because they're greedy. Roll through reds three. Get a good roll 10v3. It's going to make sense to remove green from the rest of the board. Um, so while they hold bonuses and get to an early advantage, everyone hopefully pushes into them and punishes their early advantage when the card sets become valuable. We'll, we'll see how this cookie crumbles. Re uh, removing white stack in the north leaves white in two positions. Potentially could feed me the white kill. I would be quite surprised, not totally shocked, but quite surprised to see neither red nor uh, blue break. Okay, so blue's going to hope to be good neighbors, which I don't think it's going to work. I think green is going to hold both bonuses and break blue. And then maybe blue rage quits as well, which means green player could actually poten potentially benefit from that behavior. White bot rolls the two, rolls the three, five v three. Okay, I still have all of my troops, essentially. Alright, does red break? No. Right? Red doesn't. They break. Good. They're like, that's too much. Breaks them there. They don't. Okay, we're going to let green hold. Two bonuses. Sketchy. That's seven extra troops right now. Okay, let's see how this one goes. As long as I don't get in their way. I think they break blue. I think they piss off their neighbor. I want to line myself up to kill white. Where's my card? Here. Yeah, so now I'm sitting in the sea lane. White's essentially in two positions-ish. Good kill lines on them. Five up there. Six up there. I got the Joker. Good. Guaranteed set. Green gets 11 troops at the beginning of their third turn. That's a lot of fucking troops. And they put it exterior. Where's that stack going? It's my five. They're beating the shit out of red. Okay. <laughs> they are beating the shit out of red, but they're not breaking blue. Do we see potential collabing? Or does blue break at some point and be like, hey, this guy is enormous and he's right next to me. Right now, blue is fully surrounded by green. Green really has nowhere to go. This central position won't survive unless they're cl and he breaks. Good. We see a little breaking. We see a little breaking. Okay, so red is in two places. 12 troops remain. Can I get a profitable kill on red? Probably. I can line that up. White bot sets and gets the four. Red is going to have to set or they get eaten. I already have a set. They lose their southern position. Red has 10 troops remaining in a pretty much straight line. What can I do? I can I can trade get the 6 add here. It's not quite enough. It's not a it's not a worthwhile deal yet. So what do I guys what do I tell you guys about making profitable kills? Oh, and, and red bought it. What do I tell you guys about making profitable kills in progressive you have to evaluate the uh, price of a single card versus the re return. So right now the set just became six. Yellow bot sets gets the six. Each card is now worth two troops. I will trade the eight if I if I want to trade. Each card is worth two point something troops to kill twelve and hold five. If I get the kill. It is now worth making. Problem is, I gotta go through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's see how lucky I am. 
Not today. Let's see if I can get it. Fuck. Luck, 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 luck. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Woo, so close, so close, so close. I lose. <laughs> The all-in play to kill red. I feed red to the next guy. Who gets the trade? Red is a bot. Yellow is a bot. Green is a human. Blue broke green. So there's two human opponents left in this game. Blue and green. Green gets the cards. Trades in at 10. It's a funny kill to fail. I had three stacks around here. I just didn't have to. I had to push through a, a yellow four, right? I went for it. I don't mind going for it. Okay, so this puts green in a crazy strong position. I have an okay southern stack. Everything in the north is food. Green would be smart to just eat me, but they also have to deal with blue. Blue still has cards. Maybe blue penetrates green again. Rolls the four. Loses four. Rolls a three. Loses two. Okay. I'm not licked yet. Blue has cards. Do they roll 7v6? That's a... No, they roll 7v5 and lose. Good. This is good. Keep rolling. Keep making bad rolls. Good. Good, good, good. This is a very violent game. Blue player next to set. Unless they don't have a set on four. I, I'm actually, in this case, hoping they do. Because you would fully expect them to punish green for that shit. Set. No set, dude? Holding five is super dangerous. But I won't be able to pay it off. The good news, though, is I'm still at 16 territories. Green's holding five cards. Going to set next. What's the next set? Uh, matching sequence is at 12. Okay. So, green gets the 12, which means blue gets the 15 if they survive there doesn't actually seem to be a way to kill blue. Okay, I'm down to 15 territories. As long as yellow doesn't hit me, I'll put in five troops, and, and that will help me recover my northern position. Yellow puts in six. It hits me. All right, too bad. Guards their bonus. Goes south. Yeah, hits me in Uruguay. Way she goes. Okay. We fail to kill... We know that blue is at war with green. So what we do is we reduce one of green's positions, I think. And we manual roll because the game is still broken, ladies and gentlemen. They have not fixed this design flaw yet. I am still in manual between turns. It doesn't default back to blitz. Green player sets in, gets the 12. What do they do with it? They're not lined up to kill blue anymore because I removed this position. They're going to hollow out this pocket. spicy game yeah and overcommit so they're gonna hollow out this pocket let's see them get into a war with the bot a little bit so i don't have to helga doing a good job 61 hours yeah not a great record i'm not terribly afraid of green but i should be based on how strong they are so we're not going to count them out blue player next to set has 11 going to put in the 15 we would fully expect that to go straight up green's ass let's see if my gut is right about that one i'm still realistically two turns away from a set Come on, blue, punish. Revenge. Ah, 15. They are slow playing it. Taking way too much time. That doesn't look like a penetrating attack. You're going to let green hold three bonuses? You're trying to take one of your own. Okay, so now we're going to end up with green being super strong. 
We're going to see the white block go this way or this way. This way. 64 and lose. It's me. Doesn't break. Green is laughing, not guarding, holding three fucking bonuses. I know better than to break them because then they just go into me. But it's a lose-lose proposition. Come on, yellow bot. Let's see break, break. Holding one is a lot better than three. Break, break. Okay, we get one break. We don't see the other two. So that's an extra eight troops they get. Fuck. Okay. White is in a single contiguous position. I see that blue wants this south. There's nowhere for that stack to go, though. I'm going to have to use it on white. In a two-position game, I don't love my game at all right now. Let's. See. Oh yeah, we're still in manual. Thanks, game. Thanks for losing me two troops. Yep, that was stupid. Um, cards. Cards. Okay. Green holds two bonuses. Starting their turn with twelve. The next set is the twenty. I'm reasonably well lined up to kill white. Let's not fuck up the kill this time. Oh, but they set. They get the 20. Good. They're setting early. Are they going to make a kill? Doesn't look like it. I don't think they have the speed. This clock is ticking. They're already halfway through their turn. Are they going to pump it into yellow? Yes. Are they going to feed me the yellow kill? I'll take that. Take the whole position. Yeah, feed me the yellow kill. Beautiful. I'm, I'm going to lose the southern stack, though. 22 is going to run down hit my 6. Don't think it stops. I think it... it, it no, it doesn't get to my 6 in time. Good. Okay. Yellow remains with 16 troops. My 6 is dead. It's pincered. I have to use it. Best case scenario here is that blue takes white, white. Looks like they're gonna. Looks like they're gonna. Okay, white's down to 14. If they don't set, I can kill either white or yellow, but not both. Whoa! Rolls a 5v6 and wins. Did you see that shit? Maybe I can kill them both. What's the better deal? Thirteen for four? Yeah, thirteen for four is better than fifteen for four. Can I kill them both? Is that too greedy? One, two, one, one, two, three. Let's go like that. The rest can go around. Okay, six is enough. Why? Oh, he's going to be well played. Yeah, I think I can maybe. I think I like. It's close, right? Again, it's too... No, we're going for it. No guts, no glory. Big dick plays, as my buddy Kilted would say. Today, guys, no luck. No, and I run out of time, right? Feeding these fucking kills. I am a shitty, shitty risk player, ladies and gentlemen. Saving grace, though, is I have speed and they do not. How can either of these guys kill me? They kind of have to tag team me right now, which I think they will. White will kill, or green will kill white, then what happens? It's blue, too. They're going to try and kill white and blue. They're going to feed me to blue. Or they're going to feed blue to me. Excellent. 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 Fail two kills in a video. Still have a chance to win. Whew! Embarrassing. <laughs> they were ballsy kills, but, like, what the fuck? Okay. Sets. Gets the 30. Finishes blue. Sets. 
So now I'm going to be in the 1v1 situation on a big map that you you guys have seen me. Big big map endgame where I grind out my opponent who's larger and stronger than me. Just with speed. Okay. We go into the 1v1. I am at a 4 to 1 troop deficit, something like that. 3 to 1, 4 to 1. We have political canvassers who would like to talk to me about why their particular party would be the one who would represent me in government. Wow, finally! You're not going to lie for the first time in history. Green's just not going to have enough time to hit me properly. Let's go. Sorry, Green. Manual. There's through all this valuable material in the top right. I I don't see how Green could possibly win with the speed gap, right? I've I've also really been an advocate to get the default of and we don't open the AP in the corner. To get the default of um, dice animations being on removed from the game, at least in ranked play. Because look, this guy should have won this game, right? There was no reason why he should lose, but he just can't move fast enough to capture enough of the board, and he doesn't know that. You don't know that after 50 hours. At least I didn't. You have to look it up, right? It's a terrible default. You go in, you say camera animations. This little default, being one switch versus the other, wins you or loses you the game. Come on, SMG. Enough. It's so fucking stupid. It's gonna hit my stack. But look, I'm holding almost the entire board, right? It's a dumb way to win games. I don't really, I don't relish it, you know? It lets me get away with doing stupid risky shit and failing twice and still win and get the win on my record, right? Poor guy. Can't even move. He's probably sitting here all pissed off. He's like, who is this guy? He must be hacking or something. Not hacking, the game's just broken. And there we go. 75 to 108. We've almost reached parity in terms of troops. 50 troop coming up the pike. That's game. It's the stack. Take out this entire pocket next turn and reduce it to a single position. Or he connects himself. And he reduces himself to a single position. Yeah. Take, take, take would be the correct path if you're trying to connect. Right, make sure you break the big bonuses. He's leaving me with so many this, that I can kill him right now. <sighs> Give him a well played. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it entertaining, exciting educational, informative, all of that good stuff. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me, Defeating Four Beginners.
Starting out at rank 13,656, we go up to 12,002, 26 and 6. I hope you all enjoyed. If, you, uh, if you're interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me. I do Fix Friday every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast, and I stream on Twitch as often as I can. Until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games, and good luck.